Hello, it's Sarah with Vermont Craft Tours. Welcome back. Today I want to tell you about one of my favorite breakfasts, which I eat almost every day, and that's cold oatmeal. Um, I love it because it's uh, filling and satisfying, and it's also really helped me with my health. Um, over the past year, I have um, raised my good cholesterol, lowered my bad cholesterol, and I really find that this dish um, keeps me going through into the afternoon um, without wanting a mid-morning snack. So um, to make the oatmeal, and you'll find the full ingredients on the website, I'll link below, um, but you'll just need a few things. That's Scottish oatmeal, which is a little bit finer ground than the steel cut oatmeal, um, and it rehydrates a little bit better uh, overnight. Um, there's also going to be milk. Um, you'll add some yogurt, and I like the Green Mountain Creamery yogurt. Um, that's a local brand that I can get at my co-op, but um, just look around and find, um, see if you can find a, a local brand uh, wherever you live. So you might be surprised to find that a lot of the big national brands of yogurt have all kinds of weird ingredients and fillers and things in them. Um, so I encourage you to look for a brand that has um, milk, and cultures as the main ingredients. Um, so the other ingredients are going to be dried and fresh fruit, and I do use both. Um, it adds a really interesting texture and it adds a lot of fiber to the dish. And then uh, nuts, unless of course you're allergic, um, but I like to put walnuts in mine. Um, as I mentioned, you are going to have to prepare this the night before. Um, you don't cook this oatmeal at all, so it's not like a hot oatmeal that you then chill down. Um, it's cold from the beginning to the end. So the way that I do it is I take the bowl that I'm going to eat out of the next morning, I put the Scottish oatmeal in there, and I add my milk and my dried fruit to kind of help reconstitute the dried fruit a little bit um, while it soaks in the refrigerator overnight. And this just takes about 30 seconds while I'm you know, pouring myself a beer or making my cup of tea in the evening. Um, then the next morning I can cut up my fresh fruit, um, and for that I usually use an apple, but you could use a pear, you could use um, peaches or nectarines or any kind of berries, whatever's in season. And then add a dollop of that nice yogurt and some nuts on the top, stir it up and enjoy it. Um, you can change up the flavors, I kind of stick with the same program most days because I know what's available, but um, you know, try cranberries, try apricots raisins, try different kinds of nuts, um, try different flavors of yogurt with it. Um, and it's really great. And again, you can get all the details on our website. So next week, um, we'll change it up a little bit. I've given you three recipes to uh, kick off our channel, and I hope you've enjoyed those. Um, we're, we'll be talking with Rick about life on the farm, um, maybe a little bit about his uh, homebrew setup and what he enjoys about that and some other projects we're going to be working on coming up. Um, I'm also going to be posting on Monday our very first interview episode. Um, that's going to be with Jennifer Kortfeldt of Heron Pond Designs. She's a friend of mine who does weaving and knitting professionally. Um, so stay tuned for Monday for that. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.